let it be GAME! Be canonous. Traversing the warp on the way back to that worthless hellhole of a planet. Opening stages of this inevitable clusterfuck of a crusade are in full swing. Imperial forces deploying into several adjacent systems. Was hoping to get another couple of weeks of peace and fucking quiet but here we are. Have the cushiest quarters aboard the Grand Cruiser Emperor's Bright Corona. Reclining on the comfy chaise lounge. Tactical meeting with Palatine Sarah. She has some non-militant sister there playing a slide guitar and fucking whistling. We're in private you stupid tramp you don't need to keep up your super cool gunsling facade. Nobody fucking cares. Say it's comforting to know we've not left the mixing of music and war solely the domain of the great enemy. She smiles and says I'm certain your order would torment such powers even at their own games. Canonus. Cunt I will fucking fillet you. Bad enough that my own order is full of whores that can hardly spell my title who think they could do better. Almost wish I and the Celestian Superior would get eaten by a Moloch or something. Emperor willing I could watch Sister Olga or Sister Charlotte try and run things. Not sure how either could spend 20 minutes directing a battle line without a cock or a donut stuffed in their mouths. Realize I'm probably going to find out when I arrive. Those useless cows better have gotten things in order. Pray to the Emperor that I missed that fucking wedding. Be me, Sister Olga, and everything is so unfair. I was doing such a great job. I was polishing that armor so thoroughly. I got in every nook and cranny. And I kept all of their weapons nicely greased. Sometimes I'd be working two at a time just to keep up with demand. And then these jealous bitches dragged me back here. Now I'm stuck here. Constantly surrounded by filthy maniacs instead of the big, strong, perfectly chiseled battle brothers who gave me such satisfying work. My ex was bigger.png. There isn't a weapon in this tent city of filthy hicks I'd sully my hands with. Hell, I bet it even takes sister Lydia 7 drinks instead of the standard 5 before she starts slutting around in this town. So yeah, I've been a little depressed. Which is exactly what they want. They're trying to destroy me. They dragged me back here. So I've been looking for ways to fill the void. Ice cream is better than people.mp3. So then they make fun of me but I like don't even care. I'm honestly the most fit of all of them. Skinny bitches can't even handle a heavy bolter without thoroughly bracing it. Bridget is the only one that never talks shit, but I can always hear the condescension. Don't say that Olga, we're all sisters and we all love each other. Would you like some of this salad Olga? It's really good, and really healthy. Oh I'm sure that you'll find a really nice man someday sister Olga. Blah 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 I'm a living son. Like, who even cares? You're not that special Bridget. Be Jim Grimmer, ex-factory linesman currently a holy warrior. Separated from his eminence and my holy brothers. Follow a crowd to some kind of lineup. Must be a chow line. Gonna get me some vittles. I must say this is the strangest chow line I've ever been in, and I am pretty sure the guy in front of my is missing his face. Almost my turn. Wait, why is this guy in front of me kneeling? Nothing for it. I'll kneel too. Hum. That is a strange looking marine. And is that somebody's skin he's wearing? What the fuck dot jpeg. So apparently I am cult brother boil rage now. At least I am eating better than I was before. Got me a nice bowl of stew. Rich and meaty. If the heretics eat like this every day I may just have to stick around. My battle buddy, blood gutter, taught me how to do the corn chant. And I think the berserkers are warming up to us. Just the other day one of them gave me some tips on how to get a good rev out of a chainsword before gutting the sacrifice. Now we're headed off to some kind of gathering, not sure where or why, but I heard some of the marines talking about a barbecue, so I am grabbing any good sized firewood I can. Maybe things are looking up dodgif. Be me, Imperial Fist Sergeant Thorn. Receive word from my captain that my company and a few other companies are to embark to a system that from what we can gather has no real strategic value to it and fortify the shit out of it. Initially I questioned the tactical decision of this but my captain just responded trust me brother sergeant you'll see why we have to fortify it. Whatever dot fist. Upon arrival at the system our battle barge was already taking fire from everything. I am not joking. Any enemy of the Imperium you can imagine is at this system for some reason. I then learned that this wasn't even the most active stage of the ongoing conflict in this system. In fact it used to be worse until some warp fuckery that involved a time traveling planet from an alternate dimension replaced the original one. What the fuck dot dawn. Thing only got worse on the ground when we realized that all necessary building materials have been either used up by some local bishop for his wedding or were stolen by the blood ravens. Fucking magpies. 
exists. With nothing else to use we resort to using the questionably high amount of bodies and wreckage for our fortification operation. We also notice there were signs of the entire planet being on fire though considering the salamanders and sisters were here that is no surprise. All things considered, I thought that maybe this wouldn't be so bad. I was wrong. Terribly wrong. Be me. Dratharatix. Proud member of the Imperial I mean. Gorehounds. It's been a weird day. Not like hey you ever actually seen a purple green skin weird, but I don't remember the forecast calling for a blood shower weird. Rolled out of my bunk. Alarms ringing. People screaming. Get moving. Can't even get my boots on before we're being led to front lines. This is how you get Krieger foot dodgeth. Stumble out into mud. Manage to slam home a magazine into Autogon. Emperor damned Astra Maliwit others with their fancy LAS weaponry. Hear an ungodly howl coming across horizon. Lads around me bracing. Some officer twat talking about how we'll do families proud. Gets about halfway through speech. Stops. Howls getting louder. See enemy coming. Hear the whistling in the air. See the shapes forming into figures. Thought hit me a moment before the artillery. Duck down. We getting shelled by our guns. What the fuck. Get up. See a big feather coming our way. Lads start shooting. Join the PDF they said. Girls love a guy in uniform they said. Manage to hear an order. Affix bayonets. Q murder boner. Bring up the icebreaker. Yeah, I named my knife. It was an heirloom. My grandfather got it during his tour of duty. See the lads. Shooting at this big monster man. Feth it. Better die doing something cool. Run at top speed. I can do this. I can take this grox brained lug. Slip on the blood of my comrades. Emperor save me Jif. Feel a big funk. I actually stabbed him. Right in the sweet spot between his big shoulder things. He looks at me. I look at him. So. I. I go. Don't even see the hit. Ah uh, well. At least I scratched him. Here laughing. Horrible. Laughing. It's the traitor. He's going hysterical. Holds out icebreaker. Welcome aboard. Look around. The lads are dead. Imperials retreating. See one of the big red feathers actually eating the officer. Good to be a part of the crew. At least officer won't be needing his boots anymore. Very weird day. Be Marcus. Be in bar. Loin at the 20 thrones I got from Lloyd. Shoulder known better than to take on the booze king. Then Zyam talkings with this big guy about something. Is done no it's all blurry. Must have pished him off cause then he punches me fair no reason. So me mate Lloyd jumps in. Then that guy's friends jump in. And then everyone's fighting. And then somebody pulled out a crack nade and that's when we left. Didn't see what happened after. Hope it's okay. On the bright side. Didn't have to pay my tab. Still paid half cause I felt bad though. So now we're walking along and singing. Actually what are we singing? Well we're singing it. Hear beeping noise. Must be a landmine. Guess he'll just die dot drunk cast. Realize that I am not dead. And that the noise is coming from a box in me pocket. Oh yeah. Forgot about that. Hello? Where are you right now? Oh it's Fessus. Hey Sarge, we were just. Save it, I know you're both drunk. Are you still at the bar and is decorous with you? Jeez what's got him his ass? The commissar knows we're here and he's got a banner blade we need to get out now. Now where's decorous? Oh. Shit just got real dot booze cruise. Alright think Marcus. Think. Damn it. This was a lot easier about 20 or something shots ago. The last time I saw Decorus was on the holly in the bar. He was help some poor gel who got in an accident in the hospital. Great, well meet you there and pick you up. Try not to die. Fess us out. Pick us up? In what? Bugger it. Well find out when we get there. Here's hoping we can still run straight. Be future version of Commissar. Sitting at the far edge of the only bar left in this system reading up on reports of those weird looting necrons when some stormtroopers walk into the bar. Realize after they got drunk that these are the same stormtroopers me and the original version of myself were looking for. Jackpot dot firing line. Was able to report this to original me while at the same time watch some of the amusing antics of these stormtroopers and get some info on them in case they somehow escape. At least it was amusing until the guy he was getting in a fight with pulled out a crack grenade and made the cowards leave. Shoot the guy with the crack grenade with my las revolver due to forcing me to shadow the stormtrooper which is difficult when your armor color scheme usually stands out when the entire planet is a ash color. Or at least I thought until I realized they were so drunk they probably didn't even recognize who I am. Decide to follow them and instruct original version of me to where they are going. Can't wait to see their dual commissars arrive at the one place they thought they were safe at. Be Fessus. 
And fuck is it awful. Get out of long ass beating about time travel bullshit hat I had to attend because I am a sergeant now which means I have to be in the know about things. Fuck responsibility dot it blows. Find out that the reason we were used as bait is because this angel's lancing has a strict no magpies policy. It seems Bishop Boy and a bunch of others are still sore about the whole losing a planet ending bomb and almost destroying time business. Our bosses apparently had to sneak in after us. No wonder they sent the stormtroopers out on a milk run. If they had sent out a regular chapter surf, head have gotten torn to shreds. Oh well, what's done is done. Not like we'll be here too long. Find our Phil is the only one who came back. Everyone else is still dicking around in the city. Fuck. But it gets worse. Over here commas are talking about spotting two deserter stormtroopers at some bar and heading over there to execute them. Fuck. That must be Marcus and Lloyd. Get word that the whole place is suddenly on high alert and looking for us after a blood raven ship accidentally beamed a living son in the head. Fuck. How the fuck do I get my boys and get out before everyone else gets them? Fortunately I don't have to answer that, as Force Commander Morganson was nice enough to provide a rhino and driver for the purpose of protecting chapter assets. Call up Marcus. Assholes drunk as expected but Lloyd's with him and they're both still functional. And Marcus is being less of a whiny dick than usual. Nice to know that all you need to do is poison his liver to get him to stop grousing. Get directions and set up meeting point. Assuming Marcus is right as long as Decorus hasn't moved too far, it ought to be a simple matter of, oh shit it's a fucking banner blade, be scout marine Zhang, be pretty pissed off. Chapter is called the purple stars, what a fucking stupid name. Colors are boring tan with purple trim and that stupid purple star, was pretty hyped to be a space marine. Seems so long ago now. Problem is our fucking librarians, upper team motherfuckers who dress in black. What the fuck is wrong with blue? Also have a fetish for fucking prognostication. Superstitious morons totally scared of chaos. God I bet we have traitor lineage or some shit. Have the whole chapter fucking around on stupid missions that are apparently super important to foiling chaos just because some psychic twats got high and saw some spooky shit. Stuck on this clusterfuck of a planet scouting out drop zones. Find the crusade deployment zone it's a huge cluster. See lots of dead Xenos. Don't know what the fuck chaos has got to do with this but apparently they're out here. Or, the fuckers hallucinated it and we're wasting our time. One of two. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Things are going pretty well, and having the sisters of battle around has been such an inspiration for everyone. I feel like I've really started to form a close bond with them. There was admittedly a little bit of awkwardness when I accidentally called Canon as Constanja mommy before she left, but everyone misspeaks sometimes. There is just something about her that seems so nurturing, but I can't quite put my hands on what it is. Massive mysteries.jpg. I have also really bonded with sister Bridget, because I understand what she's going through. Being the emperor's chosen is a heavy burden, so we've had a lot to talk about. Sure there is only one person in the galaxy with the Aquila birthmark while there are other living saints so technically I'm way more special if you do the math. But still, it's similar. Chosen one dot Aquila. Sister Teresa's been a real inspiration though we haven't spoken much. Every time I see her she is comforting one of this war-torn world's widows. Honestly, there is probably a lot I could learn from her as far as tending to the needs of the women amongst my flock. Sister Lydia has become something of a legend given what she did against the Necrons. I suggested that it might be great if she could train some of the men and women we have driving the new vehicles. Unfortunately, she was unavailable. Apparently whenever she is not engaged in battle she dedicates all of her time to personal prayer and so she doesn't have time to train troops. It must be working though, she obviously has the Emperor's blessing. Sister Olga keeps calling me little guy and I don't like her very much. My betrothed says she's just angry that she's fat. I am not little dot bitch. I like sister Charlotte best of all. Not only has she been a huge help with the wedding and hit it off with my betrothed, but her dedication to finding and exterminating heresy has given me time to deal with other issues. Two of two. But I have had other frustrations. My betrothed had an interesting idea, suggesting that we should abstain from sharing the marital bed until after the ceremony. I told her that I believe we're already married enough in the eyes of the emperor, but she was insistent. Since then I've been heading out to the lines a lot. Perhaps this is also part of the emperor's plan, reminding me of the importance of killing the enemies of the empire. That must be it, because since my betrothed and I have begun abstaining, I only really feel the emperor's peace when I'm shooting things. Why are they blue? Dot PNG. 
Unfortunately, I'm not supposed to get close enough to the enemy to use my flamer anymore, and my betrothed won't let me use a plasma gun. She says she's worried that if I get any weird gross burns from using one, they may be too hard to differentiate by the emperor given burns that I received. Instead I've been using an MKII call pattern stalker bolt rifle. It honestly would have been too big for me before, but my new arm has given me the strength to wield it. Obviously, this is why the emperor replaced my arm. I may also use my renewed strength to motivate that barely converted seneschal to hurry up the wedding preparations. If I had known about my betrothed's purity before marriage idea before, I might have ordered the construction of a town instead of a city. And I swear to the emperor if I catch him staring at my betrothed's ass again I'm going to have him castrated. I really really need to get married. B Sergeant Thorn. It's only been a few days since we landed and yet things are already starting to get even stranger. Just today I saw the bishop I keep hearing about from everybody on this planet only to find out he is a fucking teen with burn marks and a fucking massive arm. That arm would look out of place on a terminator and much less a kid. I swear that arm should be on one of the primaris marines in my company. Doesn't help that the kid's main weapon is something only one of those fuckers can use. From there I saw the magpies engages in some weird pissing contests with each other over who can loot the most shit from this hellhole. One of those magpies even tried to steal our bone fort. On the topic of bone fort, due to our force usage of corpses as fortifications we started attracting chaos cults due to them thinking we were one of them. Admittedly at first it was fun shooting down hordes of traitors. It got annoying when the demons started mistaking us as followers of their degenerate gods. Worse offenders are the Nurgle ones who make the base somehow have a more putrid smell to it. We can't even use fire to cleanse the place of taint anymore due to it likely setting off a chain reaction that will make the base explode. Any attempts to contact the Imperial Fists for actual building materials has gone nowhere since the fucking phalanx was nearly destroyed again. How the anything is capable of destroying that fort, especially one made with the help of our Primarch is beyond me. Any hope I had left of this place not being some sort of clusterfuck was when I saw some commissar riding a blana blade to the only bar on this planet just to shoot some deserters along with picking up a future version of himself. Emperor preserve me. Dawn. Be canonous. If you can stand the curse of always being right, that is, pop out into real space near Ludicrum. Find that a fair few of the fleet's escorts are still floating around back in the warp. Maybe they'll turn up in a few days, or a few hundred years, or before they left, or not at all. Immediately attacked by a few wayward tyrannid craft. Are they really craft? Or just very large, spacifering tyrannids? Ponder this over a glass or three of rosé from an observation deck as the fleet engages them. Navy eyeing is not my department. With enemy forces already in withdrawal, the planet will make an excellent staging ground for the opening stages of the crusade. Fat fucking chance. Unfortunately my concerns were downplayed in the course of strategic planning. Watch Imperial forces deploy around this stellar fiasco of a planet. Not just garden space marine transports, but terraforming project ships as well. Here to pick up the reins on the process accidentally started by setting huge areas of tundra on fire. Admittedly the sisters of the ermine mantle had a fair hand in that, to say the least. Get to my own lavishly furnished landing craft. Full celestial honor guard from the ermine mantle. Golden light and black sepulcher in tow. Can't wait to see what's been freshly fucked up in my absence. So I don't know about you guys, but I thought like, you know, maybe, maybe Corn might be taking uh, the sisters battles place for my like, you know, favorite characters. I don't know. I don't know. Just saying. But anyway, anyway, um, as always, hope you enjoy, like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. And hey, check it out. Just hit 10k subs. Like, you know, just, I'm not even joking. It was about two hours ago at the time of recording this. So that's pretty cool. I think, yeah. 10,000, 10, like, you know, quite shocked, be honest with you, but look, if you guys keep enjoying the videos, I'll keep making them, you know what I mean, um, it, honestly, it's great fun, and I love the comment section, be honest with you, I really, really enjoy what you guys have to say, so, look, uh, thanks, and just keep going what we're going, but no, I will be making a special wee 10k sub video, it's going to be a wee bit different, um, but to find out, you're going to need to be in the Discord, and it's going to be like a live stream, and Look, you're just going to have to be there at the time, and, you know, well, you'll find out, okay? Also, be sure to check out the links for merch. Got some nice-looking t-shirt designs you guys will love. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. 
and it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this, please? <laughs>